It's Dan on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. With In and Out of Colombo, we are checking out some fabulous restaurants, and this time around, we are checking out Isso. This is a cool place for some great food, and at the same time, Isso is the star. But at the same time, I feature someone very interesting who has a great purpose as to why he's visiting Sri Lanka. More on Dan on Fire. It's Down on Fire right here on High TV. Thank you so very much for tuning in to your luxury channel. With me, I have Krishan Magazin, and we are checking out Isso. I love this place. We'll yeah. speak about the restaurant in a bit, but let's speak about the guest. Hi. Hi, Dara. How are you? So he uh, made an accidental phone call to me saying that he's in the country. And I said, ah, come on my show. So it was one of those. It was just so quick. This boy barely has a wardrobe. And I said, don't worry. The show is about me, not about you. Yes. So I told him to dress flat. So you are in Australia. Why? Uh, because of work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working there. Yeah. He's working for the Australian government. Yeah, that's I understand why. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Just, just work and family and all that. Yeah. How is it? Good. Was it hard to settle down? Um, are you in Melbourne? No, no. I'm that's very love to know, my son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually up north. Ah, right, yeah, okay. Jaffna. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's been pretty good. Okay, yeah. yeah. A lot of Sri Lankans coming uh, there? Not a lot of Sri Lankans, uh, maybe about, say, 150 families. That's quite, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot. They will populate by the time your kid grows up, they'll all be there. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be, that'll be uh, well worth the guess. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll find a uh, Vihara lane there very soon. <laughs> Okay, oh, so oh, Rudrama. Yeah, Rudrama, but just for sure. All right, so uh, now everyone knows he sort of revolutionized uh, Tamil hip hop music in Sri Lanka, which I'm so proud of. Uh, you you were literally a breath of fresh air to the music industry when you came out. Now, yeah. when did you start? I know I was a uh, toddler at that time. Yeah, so I actually started in 1998. Then. <laughs> just a child. I was a child. <laughs> you were a child. I know. Uh, that was that was when I put out my first single. But after that. We, we launched Tamil rap music in 2003. That was Iraj, myself, and Yawan. Yeah. yeah. So that's when J-Town story came out. And yeah, it's been, I would say, what, 16, 17 years now. Yeah, no, that's amazing. Yeah. Some of our crew members who are at this location were not even born when his first song came out. Now you uh, make me feel old. I know, uh, I'm just, just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, just to let you know where we are, we're checking out Isso. Um, did you have you? Made, I'm sure there's enough and more Sri Lankan food outlets there. Yeah, there are plenty. Yeah. Yeah. What do you have? I have iso one day. Uh, yeah, let's start off with. No, I've got prawn roll. Oh, I've got the true Sri Lankan one. You can have one. Okay, I'll share sure. with you. But um, you can check out the all new iso if you have not come this way towards the Colombo side. They have this place looks beautiful, perfect for photographs. And they have the brilliant menu. I've, I've loved them from the time they launched. Have you eaten an ISO before? Not yet. Really? I'm going to try this. Oh my God, no, I'll, I'll try the ISO Wade at Golf is. This is a modern ISO. This is a modern ISO. This is ISO. <laughs> Not ISO. ISO. Go for it. Go for I it. think that's what you need to go with. Ah, OK. Oh, very Australian. I'm going for the sauce now, not for the chutney. Mm. OK. So now you're doing some remarkable work, and that's what sort of brought you to Sri Lanka. Yeah. Tell me about what you're doing. So well, uh, Danu, we uh, started on a little uh, independent Tamil rap project. So I did one before I left the country, and uh, this time we were able to get about thirty Tamil rappers on one song. So which was which was a, a challenging sort of a project because we had to work with different Tamil rappers from different parts of the island. Okay. From Jaffna, from Kalmune to. Uh, and there's a Nukin. lot of talent, though. There's a lot of talent. So. Uh, my friend Yawan and uh, Vigneswaran and mm. myself, we, we kind of uh, teamed up together. We kind of facilitated or funded this project, got all these guys together, put out a track and a video, and we're, we're launching it soon. Amazing. So, yeah. Do let us know when you launch it because we would love to play. Yeah, sure, that would be great. 
So these, uh, the purpose behind this is just to just encourage to give, them to... Just to give the young talent uh, a platform to put their music out. Because I feel Tamil independent music in, in Sri Lanka is still very infant, very small in terms of, you know, compared to the South Indian market. So that's always been a challenge for, for us. So I think uh, as musicians who, who kind of had the opportunity to take Sri Lankan Tamil music to a global platform. I think it's it's our duty to kind of you know build a platform for the for the new generation. I think that's what you've done as well as you know as uh, an artist, uh, an icon, like an artist. <laughs> but actually, um, I worked with Krishan on this track that we did. Yeah, which was for, random, very yeah, random. For Jaffna Boy, I went to his studio at like eight o'clock in the night. We were done recording the song at eight fifteen. Yeah. Uh, we wrote the lyrics on a tissue paper. Yes. And, and then we shot a video for it. Yeah, <laughs> and then he was like, man, this is the fastest song I've ever done. He's like, I'll, I'll sing my part later. I'm like, okay. I left. Two days after I said, we had to shoot the music video. He was like, okay. And he expected like seven hours of shoot. We were done in like 30 minutes. He was like, that's it. He was like, this is the fastest I've ever done a song. Done a music, music video. video. <laughs> yeah. And we put it out. Yeah. And it also went up to BBC, all thanks to him. It was yeah. quite fascinating. To know, we'll play a little clip. Insert in. Yeah. Now, yeah, insert. Awesome. Now, play now. now. Play now. <laughs> Jeffna boy, swagga mathu machi, rap panida, rap panida. Hmm, welcome. Sorry, okay. Hit it. Ava sen tamil den moliya, nila vena sirik kamalar kodiya, nila vena sirik kamalar kodiya. Ya ya ya, ya 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 ya. That was a great experience, but. In India, in South India, what do they say about Sri Lankan hip hop music? Well, it's uh, it's being accepted. I mean, we are, we've had you know Sri Lankan artists go in there, work in there as well. Uh, so I think it gives us a very good opportunity to to you know showcase more talent. Amazing. All right. So if you're wondering where we are, we are at Easter. You can come and check out their fabulous menu. What I really like about Easter is the fact that it's so easy to make up your mind. The menu is so set. You yeah. don't need to come. If you're someone like me who finds it so hard to make a decision, you're like, you don't need to go I, through all of that. I think this and, and is amazing. Amazing, right? Amazing. They poshed it in a nice way. it in a nice way. Definitely. We'll speak more of us about his project and what he's doing. When we do come back with our mains on the other side, do stick around. It's done on fire in and out of Colombo right here on High TV. So we have been served our mains. I've got hot butter prawns mm. with egg rice and what have you got? I've just got grilled prawns with some smash. With steamed rice. Steamed rice. This is the traditional one. Traditional. Yeah. All right. So while we you can dig in, huh? you don't need to feel shy about the show. Nah. So now tell me, how is um, how have you all settled down in Australia? No, you did so many things, right? Yeah. You worked in banks. You worked mm -hmm. media marketing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that you have not done. Mm. What gave you the highest amount of satisfaction? Uh, I like working in uh, digital. Okay. Yeah, so that gave me the highest amount of satisfaction. But most of my roles has always been with media and creativity, uh, yeah. and even digital. It's a lot of lot of innovation. Yeah. So that that kind of interests me. Now, just wanted to ask you about settling in and like starting a new life. And here you have created such an yeah. identity for you. Eat. Yeah. Uh, I lost Eat. Yeah. You join me as well. Um, so. Yeah. Did you feel like it's a bargain that you didn't want to lose out on? Well, it was a it was a, a decent trade-off because uh, okay. because obviously leaving everything behind and, yeah, and starting fresh. 
uh, was was a challenge, but uh, I always have a, a connection back to to Sri Lanka. That's that's the main reason I'm, I'm back here, mm. trying to you know re spark the whole uh, hip hop scene with with, uh, with the stuff that we've done in the past, and also kind of you know start working with communities and. and you know, do you do any gigs in Australia? I do some random shows here and there. Okay, but Just not nothing. so many singers of us are there. Yeah, there are loads, yeah. loads of loads of Sri Lankan musicians. Yeah. So. you know, like who are still singing and making music there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, I think it's the world's become very global, and, and you can create content from wherever and mm. still still publish it and, and still have an audience. So, I think uh, the. The new platform that we're launching, which is for Tamil music, uh, will kind of give us that kind of edge. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to eat. So let's go back to your time when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Your you have always been from Colombo, or your roots go back to where? Uh, mom's were actually from Jaffna, mm. and my dad's from South India. So uh, we were born and raised in, in Colombo. Um, so yeah, we do we do go back to Jaffna and it's a mix of both. Yeah. Now, how was it when you were growing up? Like, what were your family traditions like? Uh, like, what's your special day at home where everyone spends together? Well, dad's or, dad's never been here. I mean, I mean, throughout our uh, young days and all that, my dad's always worked abroad. Mm. So it's 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 my mom that raised. Mm. My brother and I. Okay. Um, so, mom's a very, very strict, uh, you know, traditional Tamil mom. Mm. You know, studies or you know, very strict routine at home and all of that. So it's always been a tough middle class uh, upbringing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but like, like you know, you know how moms spoil the boys. My mom never spoiled them, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't that lucky. <laughs> so, so um, yeah. So she was she was pretty strict to the point that you know you had to get your studies done, even though you liked music or or we did sports or whatever. We always had to make sure that you know that that checklist was always done. Picked, yeah. So we did we did our sports, we did our music, we did our studies. We were not, we weren't very great at our studies, <laughs> but we were pretty average. Uh, at least you all did it. Yeah, we did. No yeah. choice. Yeah. Same here, man. <laughs> at least you were average. I fought well, for average. Oh, well. really? It's like, please let me be average, please. <laughs> I can do so well if I'm average. But, yeah. but I feel that education makes you feel a bit dumb until you figure out what you want to do. And yeah, and it's it's at like a, a latter point of your life. You I mean you, you experience so many different things in yeah. life and you, you 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 really can't make a decision. As yeah. to you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to be? You can't become a doctor just because they said to you <laughs> or they told you to become yeah. a doctor. But I mean, finding that passion or whatever yeah, it is, is. This is how we have like dentists. <laughs> They've been forced into doing something poor sort. Yeah. But you tell me a little bit about um, growing up. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your mom's reaction when you got into music? It wasn't. It wasn't something actually encouraged a lot because we had to go and do gigs at like late nights and stuff like that we had to borrow money for studio time and all that which which was which was very hard to yeah so uh, she really never encouraged it but hello the i come from a jaffna family so yeah. others would have called and said what is your son doing in, in, the, in, the, Sehran, <laughs> in, the, in the middle of the yeah. 90s yeah. sitting yeah. and doing nonsense yeah yeah so a lot of uh, arguments mm. and all that but uh, dad on the other side was, was pretty like, encouraging. Um, he liked to see our music being out there, being yeah. played on radio, TV, and yeah, yeah when, when when we were on on print oh. articles or whatever, he was pretty thrilled and stuff like that. So he was he was supportive. So thousand bucks was a lot of money back of back then, right? Yeah, it was like seventeen years ago. Yes, you can so, make a baby out of it. Yes, yeah. So we have, I th I think like studio time was like five hundred bucks an hour or something oh, yeah. like that. You recorded um, in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we 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 play, we we practice at home, mm. and we're pretty much, you know, <laughs> like no everything. Go, go for it. Go for it. It's like an American Idol yeah. audition. Uh, just sing it one go. Just go for it. <laughs> yeah. And then make sure that we record our songs and all that. So, mm. so it was like pretty, a pretty interesting upbringing. 
uh, and then here we are putting up music so easily these days. Yeah, and also not only that we are putting up music, they are also creating a platform for more Tamil musicians to come forward and sing. Yeah, we'll speak more when we do come back. We have also kind of blocked somebody from who has come to die in here, poor soul. So he's waiting for us to wrap things up. We'll see you after the break on the other side with something sweet right here on Tamil. Outside and chilling as we digest all the so that has gone through our system. This is Done on Fire right here on High TV with Krishan Mahesan. And if you're wondering, the noise because it's the peak of traffic. Yeah, yeah. But so, we're enjoying, we're enjoying dessert. But I'm going to let you dig in. Yeah. This boy has been eyeing everything. I've here. been, I've been. But I'm I must tell you, if you ever come to Isto, you have to have this beautiful, beautiful mm. milk coffee. It's the best. I've given you one inch smaller than mine. I'll dig in. But you do that first and then come to this. All right, my yeah. biscuit pudding looks brilliant. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh my god. Mm. That's great. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't think of any questions right now. Don't. Mm. Let's just enjoy the food. <laughs> okay, who wants to talk? Drew, I agree. Can I have a bite of yours? Thanks. Wait, wait, don't give me. All right. Now I have to ask you. Yeah. What made you do this project? What is this project's name? It's called HRK. So basically, you know what HRK means? Warning. Warning. So we're talking about topics such as you know, um, the drug problem. Mm. We're talking about climate change. We're talking about. Um, Addiction to pornography by okay. of the youth. We're all, we're talking about uh, these are all problems. Losing are identity. Uh, we're talking trying about, to be something that you're not. Yeah, you're talking about you know forgetting your culture, your roots. So it's like letting the letting the next generation know things are getting off track. Okay. It's time to you know put some rethink. Yeah, it. yeah. So that's the whole concept of it. And each of those guys who worked on a song has as has written about each of these problems and we've highlighted it, put it all together. So how long is this track? The, the track is about nine minutes in duration. Whoa. Yeah, and it's- You all did the music video as well? Yeah, we shot a, we shot a very basic music video. Uh, and uh, it's a first in the world where we've got 30 Tamil rappers coming to work on one project. So it's a first, world's first. Now this, the culture of rapping it's quite different to singing. I've stolen both the. What? You've stolen both the. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, My God, the things he notices on this show. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's mine. <laughs> we yeah. can never lose weight, man. I really like your cheesecake as well. Go for it. Thanks, thanks. Are you asking me something? Ah, no, I forgot. <laughs> you disturb me with sweets. Yeah. Tell um, me. I'm gonna try the milk coffee. Ah, okay, now this rapping is very different to singing, no? Mm. Somebody who can rap, can they sing? You could. You could. Okay. But you got to train, right? The singer's got to be properly yeah. trained. I can I can never sing that Really? Bad. Well, I would quite consider myself a very, very mediocre sort of a singer. But I can I can put a song together. I can compose a melody. Okay. I have the ear for music, to create music. But I wouldn't call myself a, a great singer. Neither a rapper. But your, rap, your rapping revolutionized. He made Tamil sexy again. He did. It, at that point, it was like a new thing. But I think per personally, right now, the culture has evolved so much. The new generation guys are far ahead yeah, of the game. That was a very noisy... That's a noisy horn, horn. but it's okay. Yeah. But so, I would say the, the wordplay, the delivery, their flows, the use of uh, the Tamil language, has, as I would say, pushed the borders or, or, or raised raise the, the levels. So. But now, if you do take uh, the, the whole system of today, music is done for the video more than the music itself. Yeah. And while you were away, we saw a few very interesting music videos. Was it, was it for Miraj? 
<laughs> I didn't say it, he said, yeah, of course. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? You worked with him quite a lot, right? Yeah, so, so I mean, some people do anything for, for publicity, right? But I, I kind of uh, want to keep my, my music to, to its, to its, uh, to stick to it, stick to my creativity, stick to certain topics, stick, stick to certain subjects that, that relate to me. Mm. Uh, and I, I would like to, you know, I'm not a person, I would say that's probably my weakness. I don't go out and promote my music a lot. Mm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a more, I would say I create my stuff and then there it is. It's that's just it. there. It's just there. So I think that you've got to go, you've got to promote your music. You've got to use these the, tactics. There and should all be of that. a. I think that for people like you, there should be a manager. Yeah, I think. Who you, does your part? I think, I think uh, you'd be a super. Who me? I'm <laughs> terrible. I need somebody to manage me. I need to know what I'm doing with my life to start with. So I've come to that stage in life. This 2020 has given mm. me thinking process. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, you've actually got two managers, right? I need to have like two, three. Three. Yeah. Would you, you like to be you one? You need managers to manage your manager as well, right? True. That's where my life is sitting. Yeah. All right, well, Krishan, I'm so happy that you have come down to Sri Lanka, still trying to, you know, develop through music a good message. Yeah. It's the most important thing. I think if you can't get sense into youngsters through information, song is the best way to go. Yeah. Entertainment is always the best way to go because you grab better attention with it. And also, it has given those 30 kids to talk about something great yeah. and their friends, family and their relatives and people who hate them and love them will all watch it, yeah. share it, spread the news. So that means you're talking about a community that's going to develop something out of it. I hope there's going to be more projects like this. It will uh, surely be uh, a lot of other projects that we do through our new platform, which is not only just music, it's uh, everything. All right. It's Tamil Entertainment. Brilliant. On that note, we need to say goodbye. Thank you so very much, Krishan, for Thanks. joining us. Thanks for hosting Big me. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. Big thank you to everyone here at ESO. Thanks for the lovely food, the dessert. Yeah. We will see you with another episode of Done One Fire. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap.